My grandfather and great-grandfather started Junction Auto in 1931. If you want to pay more, that's your business. If you want to pay less, that's my business. So my videos, I take more of like the silent cartoon approach. You know, you'll just follow a guy around, have some wacky adventure, and then, you know, become a better person or maybe not. You know, just have a good time. <laughs> so it's, you know, it's open to everyone, so it's not like if you don't understand English, you won't understand the video or something like that. It's just a the good fun thing for people of all ages because you know I'm still I'm 20 and I'm still playing with Legos so no big deal <laughs> but over the years I've been on YouTube now for four and a half years and overall I've added up to 63 million views as of like lunchtime today a typical day now is 125,000 views so this all just started out with me getting a birthday present so you know if you enjoy what you do and you stick with it anything's possible <laughs> video here took took 4,000 pictures to make so you know you'll sit there and for the guy to go through and swerve through all those people on this skateboard you know the set had to be six panels long you had to slide through the camera and I had to, to move the guy and everything go together and you know that one that one angle maybe took you know hour and a half two hours just to get that one piece so think of how many angles you saw how many times the camera changed each one of those is probably an hour long. I don't know. I really like the when we made the videos. You really like when you made the videos? That was fun. What, and what about like his pr presentation stuck out, I guess, for you, would you say? Video. Oh, yeah. I guess showed the videos of how he showed how they different steps to do it. And then there's other techniques that go beyond animating, such as masking, they call it. And that's where, when the pizza was flying through the air, anyone wonder how I did that? Strange. You could do string, but another thing I have is that you know that pizza was just a pizza on a stick. I just held the stick in front of the camera, and then I took it out on a computer. So there's there's different ways of doing it, but I certainly started out with string and tape and everything like that. It's those things you learn along the way. String layers each other. Yeah, or if you have animate with string and the guy's jumping, you know if he's on string, he'll be swaying back and forth, and you can't get a good picture. So if it's you know on a rigid support, you're good to go. Okay, keep going. Keep going. I liked watching the videos. That was pretty fun. And um, the part of doing the video, I, I really like crashing in a walk. They actually look realistic. And. Um, I have seen a little bit of his videos. I mean, I've seen the Underground Fortress. I've seen um, Santa Claus. That was pretty funny. I wanted Legos. <laughs> and, so, um, what do you enjoy about the videos? They have humor and they're funny and they have like a really cool plot to it. It's just not a bunch of Lego pieces thrown in a dome and playing. It's they, they, they have they have a plot to it. Stephanie Bowles, I teach science here at the middle school. This is Bob Bowles. He and I are volunteer advisors for STEM Club. It's S T E M. It stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, and Math. And one of the reasons that we have Michael here with us is because he's our local fellow. Hello, um, and he's, he's turned his hobby into something really exciting. The kids all know his work. He has his
his own um, YouTube address, Michael Hickox Films, and he's teaching them how to do what he does. And it's all photography and setup, and um, it's a, it's just a wonderful opportunity for them to learn from an expert. And that's why we we kind of. Can I add anything? Like what maybe what specifically you think is kind of important for the having him kind of show the kids. This well, picture, it's I'm important for them to find out how much work it can be, even though it's a hobby and fun. Yeah. He's explained yourself, very well that it's taken him many, many hours to create people. these and to come up with ideas one it's after another. It has to be more difficult. That, and we want them to learn to use the computers. That's part of the reason I'm here, because I used to teach computers before I retired. Mm -hmm.